Hey guys, Drifter here. I'm back again to talk about content in Apex Legends because I believe that this game is still not getting the support that it deserves from Respawn and that subsequently interest in the game is dwindling. This is almost an objective fact. You can objectively say that Twitch views are down. There's been quite a few articles about that. YouTube views are significantly down. Subreddit posts are down. And the amount of memes that I see about it on Twitter, Instagram, elsewhere are down. There are just less people talking about playing and engaging engaging with Apex Legends from every publicly available metric that I can look at, and pretty much every type of content related to the game right now, including the number of my friends that play, is just on its way down, and I wish that wasn't true because I adore this game. I think Apex Legends is a fantastic game. I think it is the best new shooter since Overwatch, and for those of you that have been watching for a long time, you know how much I love Overwatch and how much I play shooter games, uh, and right now Apex Legends is surviving just it, it is continuing to exist as a mainstream game based on the fact that the core gameplay is really good the gunplay the movement the the abilities the map the the unique situations and all the things that you can do with apex legends is really good and that's what makes the game fun and that's what keeps me playing it even still three months later with no content but for the life of me i have no idea why respawn isn't adding content and at the moment, I'd like to take any content, because right now we are getting just about nothing, like almost completely zero. And I did see a, a tweet from one of the developers the other day talking, I think it was an article with the Respawn CEO, talking about them wanting to do longer term cycles and less frequent, bigger updates and not rushing content and not just flooding their games with skin and nonsense and not just adding guns and breaking the balance that they worked very hard on. And the balance is, is very good in this game, so kudos to them on that. And they also talked about maintaining a healthy work-life balance compared to Fortnite and Call of Duty's development cycles. I know a lot of COD devs are like 60 plus hours a week. And at Epic Games, Fortnite is so big and so popular and so crazy that most Fortnite developers are working 80 hour weeks, just insane overtime to keep the support for the game up. And normally I would, you know, I would say that's a good thing that, you know, you have a good work life balance and that you don't want to rush updates because a game like Fortnite breaks its balance all the time. Overwatch does the same thing pretty much every time they add a new character is broken. But in the case of Fortnite, the changes can sometimes get exhaustive, but Respawn went the exact opposite direction and said, you know what, instead of changing our game, people get tired of it, we're just not going to change it and let them get tired of it. And since the game has launched, which as of me recording this video has been about three months ago, or one entire business quarter, we have had one pink Valentine Pathfinder skin, two Valentine gun skins, one new character, one new weapon, and a battle pass that unfortunately has very little desirable loot in it. The battle pass like whole value thing wasn't bad, or the grind wasn't bad, but there's just like no skins or guns that are really worth unlocking. There's almost nothing in the battle pass that people want. So we've got a useless battle pass, uh, a, a couple of little valentine skins, a new gun and a new character, and that's it. There's there's nothing else. There's no new modes. There's no maps. There's no limited time event. There's no story. There's no voice lines. There's no emotes. There's no gun skins, camos. There's no finishers. There's no... There's not. We're not even getting banners and stickers. We're not even getting sprays and little like widgets and doodads that nobody cares about. It's the same thing that we have now that when the game came out. Meanwhile, take a look at Call of Duty. Call of Duty has a brand new Alcatraz map for Blackout with a new mode. We're dropping new specialists. Tons of new skins, new weapons both for MP and Blackout, new modes in MP and Blackout, massive updates that change the balance of the game, DLC packs, new multiplayer maps, operator weapons in Blackout, just tons of new content in general. And I'm not playing COD because the monetization problems, but heavens, they're adding new stuff, right? Fortnite honestly changes so much that I can't keep track of it. I played the new Thanos mode a little bit the other day, which is hype, by the way. Thanos mode, insanely fun, insanely good job they did on that. But they've added that and like 10 other limited time modes and they've done map changes and probably like 400 new skins that I could never hope to mention in this video. Take a look at Rainbow Six Siege. This is a three-year-old game that should be dying off, but it's still going strong because they're continuing to support it. We've got a Valentine's event, an April Fool's event. We've got in-game events, new operators, new new skins, all sorts of fun stuff. Even in Overwatch, we're still doing new stuff. New maps, new skins, support, balancing patches. Now let's go back to Apex and see what's going on. 
yeah, very little. We, we've had a little bit of content here and there, but it is maybe 5% of the nearest competitor. Every competing game right now is just cranking out content of some kind, and I don't understand why we aren't at least getting new character skins or new gun skins. Character and gun skins are the easiest thing to make in, in all of gaming. That, that, that's why so many games want to charge you $20 for these character skins, because they'll make so much more money than the amount that they had to pay somebody to do that. We're not even getting recolors. We're not even getting League of Legends chroma packs. We're not even getting texture changes. I, I, right now, think about how pissed off or desperate I am right now to be begging Respawn for just gun recolors and just little retextures and things you can do in a few seconds and then just quickly QA it to make sure it doesn't crash the entire game. We have nothing, and, and gaming in 2019 is not about releasing a multiplayer game and then ignoring it. That is gone. That died last year. Fortnite came out last year, uh, rose to prominence last year, and it 100% broke the mold for gaming content. Even if you don't like Fortnite, you gotta realize that it forced other gaming companies to keep up. We, we have a competitive market, and in competitive markets, when one business makes a better product, the other people have to get cheaper or compete on the same, and they just decided to compete on the same, and now every game is doing it, like the games I just mentioned, because that's how economics works. Releasing a multiplayer game now without creating creating content updates for it is like releasing a brand new streaming service and never adding anything new. Imagine if Disney released Disney Plus with all their exclusives and they were like, all right, we'll add new content in five years. Well, who the heck's going to subscribe to that? They need new stuff. It's like releasing a car without seat belts and air conditioners because it's too modern and too fancy. It's just behind the times. And when it comes to balance and new items, etc., I do believe that Fortnite and Call of Duty are doing it best. Uh, both of these two, but more so with Fortnite than Call of Duty, have an everything in the kitchen sink approach. Just throw it out there and see what sticks, and they'll throw in new stuff all the time. Tons of new content, new guns, new uh, like little gameplay mechanics, new map areas, new modes, new something, and even if it comes out broken or boring, they're constantly updating it. Like if, like if there's a patch that comes out that's not only unfair, but isn't fun to play, well, next week it's probably just gonna get pulled in those games. It'll be gone, you don't have to worry about it. You don't like this patch? You don't like what's going on in Call of Duty right now in Blackout? You don't like the map in Fortnite? Well, just wait two weeks and come back and it'll be different and you can move on with your life. Apex is the same. Essentially, very little change has occurred here. And my only guess right now, my only logical reasoning, the only thing that makes sense to me is that Respawn has completely cashed out on Apex Legends, that it was an unexpected hit, and they just took that money and said, okay, you know what, we've got one hit under our belt, we're going to focus super hard on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now, that game looks really fun. I know that people there are working hard on it. I know it takes a lot of work. They're putting a whole lot of risk on this single-player-only game that's supposed to be hype. But I don't know why Apex isn't getting any love. Giving all the love to Star Wars is the only thing that makes any sense to me, which would be a shame because Apex is a huge hit game, and Apex at one time, much less so now, had a chance to take a big bite out of Fortnite and blow up. It did take a bite out of Fortnite for a while, and not just because they were paying Ninja to stream it, but because a lot of people were just playing it because they loved it. But right now, the game is fading out. As much as I love playing this game, and I'm still going to get on and play it and stream it today probably, I'm afraid that this game is not going to die with a bang, but with a whimper. It's not going to be a new game that comes out and blows Apex out of the water. It's going to be Apex just not changing and drowning in, in the water that it's got, I guess. Uh, content creators, the ones that I know personally, the ones that aren't Apex creators, are getting ready to move on to something different. They're already planning other strategies. Me too, I have to, because player numbers and views are dropping. And I think that if we had new content for the game, a solos mode, a no abilities mode, new skins, just put some new little city in the map and, and make it a strip club or just something stupid, it gets people coming back because it's new and it's fun. And I know that all of this negativity won't help. It'll, it'll just further drive people away from the game, but as a player and as a fan, I'm super frustrated and pissed off and I don't know what to do. I just want my favorite game to get updates, to, to get a new mode once a month, to get uh, support for the major glitches that are they're still present in the game, to get new skins, because we're not getting those, to get something going on in this game to keep fans and people coming back and playing, because I want, I want to be playing Apex Legends one year from now. I like the game that much. I want next March, after the COD cycle, after the Christmas hype, after all that stuff, for me to still be sitting down and playing Apex Legends, 
but I'm afraid that it's going to be like the same game with maybe one or two more characters and two guns and the map will look the same. And there's no point in playing that because I would have just wasted a year of my life. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope to God somebody at Respawn watches it and cares and knows that I'm not just hating for stupid YouTube views, but begging for change and we get some updates. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.